Hi, welcome to the April edition of the SMA Sketch Club. My name is Jerry, and today our project is going to be to draw a rabbit. So to get some inspiration, let's look at a very wonderful paint, a print of a, of a rabbit. This print is titled Black-Tailed Hair. And what do we notice when we look at this print of this hair or this rabbit? Right, it looks like he is kind of crouched down, maybe he's hiding, and he is pictured among some leaves, might be lettuce leaves, something that looks like it, um, he would want to eat. So just like we're used to seeing with Audubon, the animal is surrounded by his natural habitat. And it's very realistic. We can see all the parts of the hair and wonderful detail. Why don't we head back to the studio and let's draw our own rabbit. All right, here's our project and let's get started. This is one that I did earlier and um, it was pretty easy because I used basic shapes and you're going to use basic shapes that you already know how to draw. So let's, let's jump in and get started. Got a pencil with an eraser in case I wanna make any changes. All right, the first shape that you're going to draw is a fairly large shape. At first I thought, oh, this is an oval, but if I notice it's got a little point on one end, to me it looks like an almond, so I'm gonna call it an almond shape. So go ahead and sketch your almond shape lightly. I like to start off light. You can always make it darker, but if you draw real, real dark, it's hard to erase sometimes. So that's going to be the body of our bunny. Our next step is going to be an oval. And we're going to draw the oval right on top of our almond shape. It overlaps. And we'll erase that line in just a little while. But right now you can leave it because we're doing our, our basic sketches. We've got the body and the head. Let's give our rabbit some personality with some facial features. I drew a little line to connect the head to the body here. I put a, a nose and shaded it in black. A little smile. He's a happy, happy rabbit. Rabbits have whiskers. So put in some whiskers. Um, we see one eye because we're looking at just the side of his head. And I just drew some little lines around his eye. It's starting to look like a rabbit. But what is the most prominent feature of a rabbit? What do you think of first? Those beautiful ears. So that's what's coming next. So here he is with our ears. I started right about here and drew a very big ear. It almost goes to the end of his body, but not quite. And then drew another, drew the other side of it. And the ear on top is a little bit behind this ear, so I didn't see the whole, the whole ear. And then I drew the inside of the ear here with these long shapes. Kind of look like bananas. Now he really looks like a bunny. But some of you, when I asked what was the most prominent feature of a rabbit, you might have thought about the little bushy, t the bushy tail. So let's add that. So just added some little curved lines to be the, the tail. And he wants to hop, rabbits hop, so let's put his feet on. To do that, I started right about here and drew a curved line. And drew a foot shape. And another one behind there. I put his little toenails or his claws there. <clears throat> and then I did one leg. One leg right over here, another rabbit's foot back here, and some little toenails, and then a line there. Where's that other foot? 
it's behind this one. We can't see it. So it's being obscured. All right. Now, once you're, got, you're happy with the way your rabbit looks, now we can use our eraser and we could erase some lines. I think I'm going to erase this line right here. And if I can see a little bit, that's okay, because we're going to color these. And that will cover that up. Let's see what other lines could I erase. I might want to erase right in here. And make that kind of come like that. And I might kind of put some little hair lines here, because he could be fluffy. All righty. Let's put him in his natural habitat, like Audubon did. So I'm going to draw a horizon line. And let's put some tall grass. Some leaves, maybe. Maybe he's looking for something to munch on. Maybe he's got his eye on this one. Can even put some little grass down here. So when you're happy with the way he looks, you've got your drawing, you've got your background, then it's time to add color. And that's what I did here. So your bunny might look a little different than mine, but that's okay. No two bunnies look alike. This is nature. Nothing looks exactly alike. So I think you did a great job. You can color your background and color it any way you want. I had fun drawing my rabbit and coloring my rabbit. I hope you had fun as well. And I'll see you next month um, on SMA Sketch Club.